Today we are going to discuss formation of differential equations. So what is the concept behind the formation of differential equations? The main concept behind this one is he will give a relation. He will give a relation. We have to get a differential equation. That is the main concept. So what he is saying is an ordinary differential equation obtained by eliminating the arbitrary constants from a relation. That means he will give a relation. We have to get a differential equation. How we have to get a differential equation? If you eliminate the arbitrary constant, you will get a differential equation. That he is saying by eliminating the arbitrary constants from a relation, you will get a differential equation. Okay. Next point. If one arbitrary constant is there, we have to differentiate one time. If two arbitrary constants are there, you have to differentiate two times. If so, if n arbitrary constants are there, you have to differentiate n times. If n arbitrary constants are there, you have to get differentiate n times. That is the main concept. Let us consider one example. So let us consider one example. Form the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant from log y by x is equal to cx. So if you let look at this relation, c is a arbitrary constant means only one arbitrary constant is there so how many times you have to differentiate you have to differentiate only one time so consider the given example log y by x is equal to c into x so this is log a by b therefore log y minus log x is equal to c into x so differentiating with respect to x you will get 1 by y into dy by dx minus 1 by x is equal to c so what is our aim is we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants from the given equation so i got the c value just to you substitute the c value in this equation you will get the differential equation you will get the differential equation okay so we will get like this so next you consider one more example form the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant from sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to c how many arbitrary constants are there one arbitrary constant c is there so how many times you have to differentiate you have to differentiate only one time therefore given differential equation is this one so if you differentiate one time you will get 1 by root 1 minus x square plus 1 by root 1 minus y square into y dash y differentiation is y dash is equal to 0 so if you observe this uh, second step already c has been eliminated eliminated therefore from this one y dash is equal to minus root 1 minus y square by root 1 minus x square therefore this is nothing but the differential equation of the given relation next you consider one more example find the differential equation of family of lines y is equal to mx why he mentioned it as family of lines if you m varies if the slope of the line varies automatically you will get a different number of lines therefore he is saying it call it, he is calling it as family of lines so consider one uh, this example y is equal to mx differentiation of this one is y dash is equal to nothing but m so from this equation what we have to remove we have to remove the m value here m is the parameter m varies therefore this is the parameter uh, sorry arbitrary constant so if you remove the arbitrary constant so how what you will get y is equal to mx m value i already i got just you substitute the m value in this equation first equation that y is equal to in place of m i have written y dash nothing but dy by dx x as it is i have written therefore this is the differential equation of the family of straight lines so one thing what you have to remember in the formation of differential equations is first if one arbitrary constant is there you have to differentiate one time if two arbitrary constants are there you have to differentiate two times if three arbitrary constants are there you have to re differentiate three times and one more thing what you have to remember is or he will give a relation you have to eliminate the arbitrary constants from the relation you will get a differential equation that is the main concept behind the formation of differential equations thank you